Hello comic fans, here's Earl Grey. Uh, today I want to start a little series of videos about my favorites, you know, the drill, uh, these lists that we all uh, like to do once in a while, our favorite artists, writers, uh, comic creators. And uh, just to give me a start here, I want to talk about my favorite publishers. Needlessly to say, when you uh, would ask me another day, the sequence of this top 10 here would be a bit different. I mean, the number one spot will always stay the same, I think, but otherwise there could be a lot of fluctuation. Um, so I could have uh, put easily uh, publishers like no, no Brow Press or Ad House or um, others in this list or Akaya in, in this top 10 here. Yeah, today I felt differently, so. Um, um, yeah, we, let's start with a publisher uh, that gives me sometimes a um, headache with a publication like this here. I mean, no doubt about it that uh, 2000 AD or Rebellion is very important uh, for European comics, especially for the Brits. Uh, they always do stuff a bit differently on the island. Um, so they have this weekly uh, publication, sci-fi magazine, and uh, a lot of great things happened there. Amongst them, Hello Jones, written by Alan Moore, drawn by Ian Gibson. Um, yeah, I recently um, gave you an overview about uh, the stuff here, but look at uh, these shrunken round uh, panels here. Uh, even a bit gutter loss, but that's not the worst. But these tiny letters, I mean, that's not only my old eyes. This is just cruel. I mean, you have to uh, read this with uh, some kind of uh, special glasses or a microscope. And the it's glossy paper uh, to top it all. This, they always made everything wrong with this book here. And it's not just this book here, uh, the collected edition, or of Judge Dredd are, for the most part, I think, not good as well. And uh, recently I saw a review by um, Andrew Buckle, uh, I guess it's his name, uh, Andrew Buckle's book reviews, and he showed uh, Jane Bond, Jane Bond, <laughs> obviously, um, a mock of uh, of uh, James Bond, uh, the female version, so to speak, um, a newspaper strip that came out, I guess, in the 60s. Looks very interesting to me, but again, shrunken down, uh, bad reproductions. And that's what they tend to do, unfortunately. But the content is, uh, is great, nevertheless. And <laughs> on the other hand, they put out stuff like this, the Apex Edition with Judge, uh, Judge Dredd by Brian Bolland. I, I showed you this beauty here in an extra video, so I don't have to remind you how, how great this book is. But it would be nice if they uh, would find more often their middle ground. Books like this here, for instance, Zenith, one of the earliest... Um, efforts of Grant Morrison, this uh, sort of superhero story uh, scene at the Brid superhero fights uh, yeah, a Nazi, surprise, surprise, uh, superhero. And it's uh, very, almost kind of normal in the beginning, but becomes very Morrison-y, uh, crazy in the best sense. Uh, later on. So, and this was published by uh, Zine, uh, by Rebellion uh, 2000 AD as well. It would be great to have uh, this size at least for Halogens, but I, I think there are, maybe there are uh, bigger uh, Hello Jones versions of Hello Jones out there. In the meantime, I have my German one, so I'm fine with it. So, that was number 10. Number Nine, we have a um, publisher, an outfit that is now, unfortunately, as you can see here, defunct. It's uh, Koyama Press is not with us anymore. They 
uh, introduced us first, first and foremost uh, to Michael DeForge. Uh, his output is now, or his books were now are now published by, I guess, for the most part, if not all, um, by um, Drawn Quarterly. Um, but they yeah, um, discovered him, and Michael DeForge is w still one of the most amazing or at least influential uh, new talents with a very own um, language, which is true for Fiona Smythe as well. Some Nyambulans um, is a that's, that's nice colorful cover and I like the book design all over. Koyama Press is one of these publishers. Uh, it's just a shame that they don't exist anymore. Um, one woman outfit by any Koyama, I guess, uh, was or is her name. She's still with us, but uh, yeah, her publishing outfit not un unfortunately. But you feel the heart and uh, the reason why these things were put into existence, even where the smaller um, ones they have an air of poet. Uh, poet Poetism, poetic uh, um, feel. And this is here, Aidan Koch. Koch's After Nothing Comes. One of, really, one of my favorite in terms uh, books in terms of the, yeah, the, the silent, the calm, um, the slow books. Um, almost uh, a collection of poems. So now we with um, rank eight we go to Italy, but they um, print their stuff in English. Um, I guess if you're an Italian, you can get the, uh, most of their books in Italian as well. But you can get all their sinister dark stuff, as you can see here, um, in English and. Um, Jesse ja there are some books by Jesse Jacobs, highly recommended. And of course, my uh, Tayu, yeah, Tayu yeah, no, <laughs> Tetsunori Tabaraya, I want to say here. But uh, since I think that I talk about this guy in almost every uh, second video, I want to show you this one here, Gabriel Dalmas, uh, Large Mouths. A thick, silent comic, um, a sequence of pictures that kind of makes sense, <laughs> either if you read it from front to back or manga style from back to front. Uh, it makes a bit kind of sense uh, as well. Um, maybe one of yeah, one of the few very colorful ones, or even colorful ones. Usually, Hollow Press prints their stuff in black and white. But Spunia's The Rust Kingdom, if you like um, uh, Hetlopper, for instance, this is a rough version, an independent version, a uh, very loose version of Hetlopper, uh, in my opinion. And here, uh, Danilio Manzi in Feto, a um, bit more toned down but a very sensible and interesting art style as well and story. So this was my number eight. And with number seven, we come to this little outfit. I guess this is again one more or less one man show here, the publisher, and uh, this is an interesting um, internet uh, site here. I have to admit that I don't know anything about the stuff they promoting right now here. But I have a bit uh, older stuff, uh, the Dharma Punks by the New Zealand guy and Zhang about punk, Nirvana, the uh, grunge band <laughs> and the sense of life and everything and friendship was um, 
my com uh, comic of the year back then when it came out. Um, 2015. So, won wonderful um, book, fantastic read. And um, even the format is, is very fitting. Then a series of the Canadian um, Michel Rabagliati. He is, seems to be very big and famous in Canada and not so well known uh, in the rest of the world. And the latter is a shame because his um, Paul comics, and this belongs to the series of, uh, about Paul, um, the life of Paul, and it's um, yeah, uh, high, um, thinly veiled uh, autobiography uh, in a way, and all these books are great. I did a video about it. Uh, look for Michel Rabagliati's um, Paul books if you want to know more about them. I want to actually wanted to talk about the publishers, but look at this stuff here, Igor Hofbauer's. Uh, Mr. Morgan, it's an, uh, it looks crazy, it is crazy, it is innovative, old-fashioned at the same time, and very impressive, printed on the perfect paper for this kind of comic here, Matty, um, mind-blowing, mind-bending uh, stuff. Highly recommended. So now 10, 9, 8, 7, on to 6. And <laughs> they're promoting Aisha Franz, uh, who happens to be a German uh, artist. And yeah, Drawn in Quarterly is the Canadian uh, Fantagraphics uh, uh, in many ways. And um, the lots of very interesting stuff. Um, I have to admit, more often than not, uh, I don't know too much about the books uh, because I mean, John Quarterly has produced lots of books. Let's see if something turns up that I really have read, not just heard about. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay, maybe not a good idea because. Of course, I heard, I've heard about Moomin. Uh, of course, I heard about Little Lulu here, Dirty Plot, the complete Julie Ducé. Uh, I have this one, and this is the collected uh, two-part uh, thing in an hardcover. Crazy, crazily good. I have this illustration book, uh, New York Postcards by Mr. Tomaini. And, yeah. Um, uh, and I guess you have figured out what I'm doing here. I always pick three very random uh, books by these publishers just to give you a glimpse into the variety and uh, output of the producer uh, of the publishers here. This is John Pasolino's Map of My Heart, uh, one of a four par uh, book series uh, with the very minimalistic, very charming autobiographic uh, comics by Mr. Porcelino. And he always focuses on the minutia, on, on the details that make life interesting. So you won't expect, uh, don't expect big drama, uh, but that's what, um, that's the reason why I like these books here. Brecht Evans, The City of Belgium. Uh, one of the col most colorful books in my collection. A day in, uh, in a big, big city, and we follow uh, different characters through the day or uh, actually the night. And it's painted and it's gorgeous, like everything Brecht Evans does. And uh, wonderful stuff here. Oops. Okay, I don't have, hope you don't have uh, gotten shock. Sorry, things like that happen. Um, 
And here, the last thing, uh, usually De um, Daniel Klaus is, I guess, a case for to be published by Fantagraphics. The Death Ray here by Daniel Klaus is or was published by Drawn and Quarterly. Okay, and now to um, five. Oh man, five. <laughs> Rank number. Rank number five. Okay, uh, and here we have DC uh, slash Vertigo, even though uh, Vertigo is obviously not along with us anymore. But for me, they always will be there. I mean, just with books uh, like The Sheriff of Babylon, um, written by Tom King, drawn by Mitch Gerrards. Fantastic, realistic uh, comic. And I think uh, the best probably what Tom King has ever written. I think I, I mean, I read Human Target and I liked it a lot and um, yeah, but I digress. <laughs> um, Sheriff of Babylon, highly recommended. So other stuff like this here, The Absolute Swarm Thing by Alan Moore, volume one. And I'm one of these who really like the fully full on color uh, treatment they gave this here. I, I admit this and I'm, I'm a sinner. <laughs> but maybe you will forgive me when I show you the next output here by DC. Um, I mean, this is loved by everyone. The New Frontier by Darwin Cook. And the slipcase edition is just gorgeous. And yeah, the whole absolute format is, in my mind, just uh, one of the best formats uh, that comics can uh, be collected in. Uh, so yeah, well deserved rank number five. But as you can see, by me, it's uh, with me, it's far from the big two, and then the rest. Uh, Marvel does will not appear in this list here. Spoilers. <laughs> Uh, instead, we have on rank four, yeah, Shaolin Cowboy is great, uh, Dark Horse, the publisher Dark Horse, uh, with everything Mignola in it, and um, yeah, just, just wonderful books. Um, let's see, here are the three more or less random picks that I uh, took from my shelves. A bit older book here, The Best of Milligan, Milligan and McCarthy. If you can get this here in a used, uh, a used copy, just grab it. It's some of the wildest, for sure, most colorful stuff that you can get. Um, and yeah, one of these. Uh, big library editions that they do and um, they have more or less all the same size yeah more or less <laughs> fear agent is almost uh, is a bit higher than um, uh, hellboy here volume one but uh, the hellboy book is a bit wider so anyhow and there, of course, here, uh, the crown jewel in every collection, I think. I mean, well, this felt surface and here how this book is made and the comic inside, the comics inside. It's spectacular. It's great. It's a very well-deserved rank number four. And then we move on to rank three. And here to show 2000 AD or Rebellion, how a good 2000 AD book should look like. This is the complete Judge Red by Brian Bolland. And it's not by 2000 AD, by, but by IDW. And I'm so glad that IDW stepped in and uh, 
rebellion had not uh, make made a one of their bad reprints but let idw make this beautiful book here um so and uh, they have these different franchises that you can see i guess uh, sonic the hedgehog and godzilla um yeah the teenage mutant ninja turtles star trek and uh, that's uh, i guess buffy is uh, the vampire killer is uh, also in that um an idw imprint um publication here i have beyond mars um, by jack williamson uh, one of these beautiful um strip re uh, reproductions collections and it's in the library of american comics line which is just great i mean um i really can understand what uh, wallace ryan for an example who has everything of of this uh, library of american comics line and <laughs> i uh, i myself really have a lot as well and uh, a last thing here by IDW, they have, of course, these different uh, artist editions, like some other publishers as well, like Rafiti Design, who are uh, reprinting the DC stuff. But overall, IDW has the most amount of these artist editions. I, uh, well, the original art. In this case, by Bernie Wrightson, of course, as fa uh, facsimile, not in. If it would be really the art, you wouldn't listen to me now. I would have owned, uh, would have bought my own island somewhere in the Pacific. So, uh, oh yeah, one once more, IDW. The Parker edition, uh, the, the Martini edition of um, uh, Darwin Cook's and Richard Stark's Parker. A beautiful book here. Even it is too dark to show you right there. Let's move on to rank two, and that's Image. I mean, Image is all over the place, and it's uh, usually uh, said to be it's uh, the third company now behind uh, Marvel and DC. Uh, yeah, with me it's actually uh, on rank two and <laughs> for a good part because of that series right there. Saga and uh, these beautiful oversized hardcovers yeah uh, that's a two-sided uh, thing here on the one hand these books are beautiful and they're really worth the wait but man it's so hard to wait until the collected edition comes out when all the the rest of the world knows already what's happening there with saga but i will wait then we have here Ed Brookbakers and Sean Phillips Fatal. Um, as a reminder of the many, many Brubaker and Phillips books that came out. And it's the same with like with Saga. It's really worth to wait until these hardcovers came out. And another random yet <laughs> necessary pick here. Lazarus, written by uh, Rucker, Greg Rucker, and um, drawn by Michael Lark, um, a political science fiction at its best. The style is a bit similar, photo referential, uh, like um, Sean Phillips. So, and now to rank one. But I guess that's no surprise to any one of you. My room would be almost half empty if I uh, 
would remove all the books by this particular publisher. Drumroll, my favorite publisher uh, right now, uh, since many years, actually since I read my comics in English, for sure. And I guess uh, till I will lay my weary head to rest, it will be, was, is and will be Fantagraphics. Um, here we have, but this doesn't mean at all that I have everything by them and don't intend to get everything. This would be totally nonsense. But of course, I have the Don Rosa library. I uh, buy these beautifully uh, made uh, new collections of the fabulous Fairy Freak Brothers. Um, oh, come on. The new Daniel Klaus. Latest graphic novel available for pre-order now. Oh, come on, I have to do a video, but yeah, there you have it. Um, and the complete eight ball and what, 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 what? I, if I say this title here, I would be suspended from YouTube. Probably this is from an art book by Jaime Hernandez with um, wrestling ladies. Uh, but for me, it's just this thing here that I hold in my hand, the third volume of a thoroughly made um, biography about S. Clay Wilson. I mean, S. Clay Wilson is an idiosyncratic figure in uh, the cartoonist business. Um, almost each drawing of him would get you suspended uh, for life here on, on this very nice uh, platform. Oh, maybe this not. <laughs> um, he's very, very um, out there and niche. And to put out three hardcover books, perfectly made uh, about this guy, it's it's just it, it for me. It um, summarizes everything that makes Fantagraphics so great. And uh, <laughs> uh, to publish uh, books about some out there outsider artist hack uh, named Fletcher Hanks, the complete works of Fletcher Hanks and very fitting, well, the very fitting, lead, fitting title, turn loose um, our death rays and kill them all. And it, uh, the um, cover here has a interesting design. It's a perfect made, perfectly made book with m with very uh, much love for these comics. Um, it's wonderful. And of course, this series here alone um, what puts me in, in lifelong depth to Fantagraphics and Gary Groth and all his uh, colleagues forever. Lucas, Jaime's uh, contribution to the Lava and Rockets universe. I mean, <laughs> this is not everything Jaime, Jaime did by far, but it was a great start. So, um, that was all for it. Uh, thanks for listening and uh, watching. Goodbye. Ah, uh, bef before I forget it, I did a similar video um, on my German channel, Earl's Waschmaschine, about publishers uh, for um, German comics, uh, comics in Ger the German language. They are, for the most part, Franco-Belgian uh, comics, uh, but translated into German. So if you have an interest in that, uh, click on the particular button here. And so, see you, goodbye.